Welcome to the very first installment of Mr. Kung Has Problems, and that's me, Mr. Kung. Let's take a look at some of the homework problems that you might be working on this evening. I'll start with 2D as an example of how we're going to find equivalent measures. We are asked to convert this value, 7 meters and 45 centimeters, into simply centimeters. So this requires us to remember that every meter has exactly 100 centimeters. And that fact is going to be indispensable as we work through these conversions, right? So, 7 meters would be 100 centimeters, plus 45 centimeters would be 45 centimeters. That would give us 745 centimeters. And all the other problems in 2, that's A, B, C, E, and F, will work along pretty much the same lines. Having solved one of those, let's look at a slightly more complicated problem, like problem 2C, expressing our answer as the smaller unit. Again, we're asked to do this conversion, which is kilometers in this case to meters. So that's 338 kilometers, 853 meters, plus 62 kilometers, 71 meters. Again, this requires us to recall that there are exactly 1,000 meters in every kilometer. That is a kilo, or a thousand. So we can express each of these already in the smaller units. We can express the first number as 338,853 meters. And we can express the second number as 62,071 meters. It's just easier for us to express it as the smaller unit right away. That way, once we do our addition, we'll have our answer. So let's go ahead and add. 3 plus 1 in the 1's unit is 4. 5 plus 7 is 12. That's 2 here. And 1 goes up to the 100's place. 1 plus 8 is 9. 8 plus 2 is 0 here. And a 1 up in the next place. 1 plus 3 plus 6 is another 10. That's 0 and 1. And 1 plus 3 is 4. So our answer is 400,924 meters. We could check our answer by doing the inverse process. We could start with this value, subtract this value, and see if we got this value, just to confirm that we got it correct. But, just looking at it, it appears that we already did. So, look at one of the story problems. I'll do the last problem in the set. That's problem number seven. We use a read, draw, and write strategy. Excuse me. That's a read, draw, and write and write strategy, RDW, where we read the problem, then we draw the problem, and then we write our answer to the problem. So let's read first. The electrician had 7 meters 23 centimeters of electrical wire. He used 551 centimeters for one wiring project. How many centimeters of wire does he have left? Having read the problem, let's do a drawing. So we know that the electrician had a large amount of wire at the beginning. So we would think of this in our language as the whole amount. We know that he had 7 meters and 23 centimeters of wire overall. And that he used some of that wire. Specifically, he used 551 centimeters of wire already for one wiring project. And the question remaining is, how much wire does he have left? In our problems, we've been using letters as variables to represent the things that we don't know. Since this is amount of, the amount of wire, I'm going to use the letter W to represent what we don't know in this, uh, this problem. So now that our writing is done, let's figure out what our calculations would be. It looks to me like this is one of those problems where we have the whole, we subtract one part, and that leaves us with the remaining part. So let's try to set the problem up that way and see if it gets a result. We have 7 meters and 23 centimeters, so we would express that in the smaller unit as 723 centimeters overall. We would subtract, subtract 551 centimeters to get our answer. And again, with all subtraction problems, we look at each unit place to see if we have enough units to do the subtraction. So in the 1's place, we have 3 units minus 1 unit, and we can do that. In the tens place, though, we have two tens minus five tens, so it looks like we don't have enough tens. So we are going to need to unbundle one of those hundreds into ten tens, plus the two tens we already had would give us twelve tens. And now it looks like we have enough tens, and we have enough hundreds to do our subtraction. So three minus one ones would be two, 
12 minus 5 tens would be 7 tens, and 6 minus 5 a hundreds would be 100. That would be 172 centimeters. And again, we could check our result by doing the inverse process, taking our answer, adding in what we had subtracted to see if we got the original result. And I believe that we would. But we're not done, because remember, this is a story problem, and they asked us a, a specific question, not just for a number. So our last part of our strategy, our right, pro our right part of our strategy, is to write the answers. And that is, he has 172 centimeters of wire left. And now, we're done with our problem. Thanks for watching.